because we live in a world that is in a fallen state and we're interacting with people all the time, one thing is for certain is we're, we're constantly um, experiencing conflict. And when we have conflict with people, one of the things that it triggers inside of us is anxiety and apprehension. And those two things, as we stew on the conflict and, and think about how do I resolve this, that anxiety and that apprehension, they can very easily begin to create fear. And fear is what keeps us from dealing with the situation that's causing the conflict and doing what Jesus taught us, like we're, we're to speak the truth and love to each other, but our fear will paralyze us. And so what I found that is very helpful for me is that when I'm dealing with a situation in conflict, that I just picture Jesus being in the middle and me being behind him. And I found that if I can do that, I can control my emotions because I'm not afraid anymore because I see him as a protector going ahead of me, keeping the enemy at bay and him being totally concerned about my relationship. Now, if I, if I let myself get in the middle, even if Jesus is still in the middle, it just screws things up. It gets really messy really quick because I'm not able to control my emotions as I am when I see Jesus in the middle and me behind him. So you're gonna face conflict, I'm gonna face conflict. I've learned, like I've been alive long enough to know that the conflict is part of being a human being. Fear is part of being a human being. But having Jesus in the middle of the fear and conflict is part of being a disciple. So when you experience your conflict, Make sure you picture Jesus in the middle, and I think you'll be astounded by the results of what happened.